hello and welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a road in revit using the massing and site tool this is the current project that i'm working on it's incomplete but i just took a pause so you can see how you can actually create a road i'm going to go ahead and delete this um makeshift wall and also one of this other entourage here so first you want to go to the massing and site toolbar it's going to just show you all the other options you can see model in place 3d sketch what we're looking to create first is the topography the surface where the road is going to be on the road is a surface in reality so you have to create a um, you have to create first of all the surface this is going to take you to the site plan but currently you can't see that we're, cur uh, um, that we're currently on the site plan right now so you can go to floor plans here on the properties panel and then switch to site that's going to take you to the um, 2d version of the site plan so the first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and place a point you can see over here in revit just below the toolbar you can see the elevation of the points that we want to use and i'm going to start the first few points with um zero absolute elevation zero that's meaning datum of course sea level or whatever you like to call it so we're going to click the first point here and just create a very simple rectangle and have this all the way here so that is um, basically our surface for this site but I can go ahead and move this point as to any direction that I want just to um, decide how big I want the site to be but I want a location on where the road is going to pass so that's why we need this surface first I can go ahead and create a surface like this you can switch to 3d and see that we have our surface in here so I want the road to cut across like this and then of course have a short walkway which leads to this window right here the walkway is going to be a lot smaller than the road itself so and what i'm seeing here i'm going to actually increase the um width of these two points so i'm going to just drag them away from the house where it is and just have them this way so the next thing we want to do after creating the site is to go ahead to the um model or the modify the site plan like this and then we're going to add another point um but this point is going to be oops i think i created I click the wrong option place another point I need this point to be slightly higher than the normal surface of the ground so I'm going to make this to be about 10 meet um, 10 millimeters or let's say 100 millimeters right so we're just going to go back to the site plan again and select this and I'm going to make this have 100 on either side where I want the road to be so it's going to serve like a mini highway where the road surface is actually slightly higher than the surface of every other place in the building so i can go ahead and add additional points like this just to you know create the road line where the road is going to actually pass through so once i go ahead i'm going to click accept and then we have our road surface in here you can't really see the difference in the height so i'm just going to switch to a sort of you know 2d well, yeah 2d version in 3d so you can see the slope that i'm looking for this curve up here so that's basically where i want my road to be and how i want it to go so the next thing that we're going to do is to create a sub region which is going to serve as our road so let's go ahead to sub region click that and then you have to select a surface where the sub region is going to cut across so we can see here revit is going to ask you to you know choose where you want your sub region to cut across I'm going to switch to 3D now and move my cube back to where it was. And just over here, we can choose where our road is going to pass. But I've noticed that I can't actually find my Revit points anymore. So I'm going to just cancel the subregion right now. Go back to the site plan and then edit the surface. While we're here, I'm going to actually create a line that is going to tell me where the road is actually going to pass. I need to follow this point. So we're looking for in architecture model line this is what i'm looking for i'm going to use this model line to actually serve as a tracing you know a tracing line so i'm going to just run this across like this have that there as the first model line and then the second one is going to run across like this so i can then go and move all these points to stay on the model line so that way i know where my road is going to pass there we go Let's have everybody on the line. So I think everybody is set on the line. Just a few more points. There. So once that's settled, I can go back to 3D. Now I have where the road is going to actually pass across, um, cut across. 
So back to the site plan, I can go over to massing and site. Okay, I currently can create subregion. I have to accept the surface first. Go ahead and accept the surface. Then in 3D, I can go over to massing and site now and then click subregion. Now on that subregion, I'm going to actually pick points. So I can go ahead and use pick lines. Select the first line and the second line from the model line that we went on to create. And then we can go ahead and choose a line and you can do this either in 2D or in 3D, but I'm going to choose to do this in 2D so I have what I'm working with and then I can choose, select this and draw across it wherever you want it to end. It doesn't really matter at this point because we're going to trim that line. So you can press escape to close the line tool and then go ahead and press the or click the line here again and then join these two points together. Like I said, it doesn't really have to be, okay, this one should be meaningfully perfect so just get at least 90 degrees so you know what you're working with and then we can go ahead and trim those edges right go ahead and click the trim tool under modify trim extend and corner and then we can go and find our click the first line click the second line that you want to trim it with and then of course do the same thing here and then finish out the edges i noticed that my other line here disappeared so i'm just going to have to create it back again have that in there and then just choose where you want it to end so we have our road stretch kind of small road so what i'm going to do is to go ahead and accept but before i do that i'm going to have to really change the material of the sub region currently it's sharing the same material as the site plan which is earth but i can go ahead and change the material in here to something like asphalt so my material browser has loaded. I can scroll and look for asphalt surface in here. This analytical surface here we have asphalt bitumen. Just go ahead and accept that. And that's going to be the sub the sub regions material. So go ahead and click accept. And we're close to almost being done. So now we have our road running across very simple. And the next thing we want to do is to create a sort of sidewalk. But before we do that, I'm going to create the let's say another sub region that is going to continue this you know link this road to the house where i want the house to end but this sub region is not going to be asphalt it's going to be something like gravel or concrete that is closer to the house so i can go ahead to site plan and then just use this wall as a reference point doesn't really matter at this point just choose and then link it straight to the road like this pick another region and then we can always edit this line as easily as you want. So now that we have our plain square for where the walkway is going to be, I can trim these two edges, trim these two edges. This two is already trimmed. So I can go ahead and select this line and then draw it to the edge of the road like this. This line is too wide, so I can pick one. Let's see the distance between these two lines. This is 5,200. I can just choose to make this 2,000. 500 so okay wrong line let me use this one instead in revit you can actually pull this bar in here and use it to measure somewhere else so you can change the dimensions i'm going to draw this line and this second end here so that shows me my 5200 i can now change it to 2500 and there we go we have our walkway what is like a mini walkway i can pull this to be a lot closer to the house and just have it in there and when you go back to 3d so that's going to be what the walkway is going to look like okay seeing what i'm looking at now it's not really looking pretty so let's just be creative about this and make it look like the walkway is going to just be the same dimension as this window that is here so once that's settled the next thing that we want to do is actually create the material for the walkway so i've accepted this but instead of bitumen here i'm going to go ahead and change this material from bitumen and look for something like concrete or gravel so we're just searching okay we have concrete um cast in place where is it cast in place gray go ahead and select that and now we can see that asphalt is the road and then the sub region for the walkway is concrete cast in place so those are our two sub regions and then now we can create our we can create our sidewalk i'm going to create the sidewalk on one side but you can do the same thing on the second side if you're following along with this video and
to create the sidewalk we're actually going to use a you know an extrusion so you can go back to architecture tab and then go to component and then click model in place the model in place option i'm going to go on and choose something as generic let's say generic model go ahead and give it a name i'm going to call it sidewalk for this and then go ahead and accept give it okay so we're going to use the extrusion tool to actually go on to create this and to do that we're also going to need a reference plane so the first thing you can see there's a reference line here there's also reference plane option but reference plane is currently grayed out you can also use the you can also use the walls on the building as a reference plane but I think that's what we're going to do I'm going to use the wall as a reference plane so what you're going to do first is to go on to click extrusion solid extrusion in 3d and then you can click a starting point for your extrusion but I want to set a reference plane first go ahead and click under the work plane tab in the toolbar here click work plane and then go back to pick a plane when you say pick a plane scroll down to the building and then choose one okay you have to click okay first let's go ahead and click okay it's going to ask you to choose a plane I'm going to, going to choose this wall that is here as the reference plane so now that the wall is selected I can go to a 3d view or a 2d version in 3d view just clicking the right um, the right side of the cube here and I'm going to draw I'm going to manually draw that sidewalk now you can if you zoom in very closely you're going to see where the road ends so that's where we're going to start our sidewalk I'm just going to go ahead and click somewhere random like this and okay let's use a rectangle since I want the sidewalk to be a rectangle I can go ahead and click this and then move aside the dimensions are not really important right now but we can see them in here so off the top of my head the depth of the sidewalk slab is let's say 150 I can go ahead and type in 150 but the width should be about a meter or 600 and probably 600 and 600 to 1 meter but I'm just going to choose 700 for this one and then 140 but right now you can obviously once you've created the rectangle you can go in here and change those dimensions I wanted this to be 150 I'm going to do that and then the next I'm going to choose for the width 750 you can always change this anytime you want and yeah so th that's our sidewalk extrusion right so in 3d I can now move the cube back to see what we're working with and that's where the sidewalk is going to be just go ahead and click accept and we have our sidewalk cube now because it's an extrusion you can go ahead and pull these sliders this way and then you can complete the sidewalk manually like that I'm just going to have this one latch onto that point and then drag the second one all the way to the end and stop at where the road stops so that's the first sidewalk you can obviously select this and pull this side as well if you want it to be a lot wider you can have it that way to create the other sidewalk from this or uh, like the other sidewalk for this other side of the road we're going to actually copy this first extrusion over to the other side but what's going to happen that is that when you press copy it's not going to move it away from the reference plane that it's locked to so we have to do it very carefully and then just select this and then push it a bit to the left and create a copy now that if you zoom in you're going to see that we have two we have two or three of them i think i'm going to delete one i may have done it twice so we're going to actually select one of this and drag it all the way to the other end and we're going to manually change the dimension of this one this one goes all the way to the end and then select the second end and move it this way like this so now we have our two we have our two sidewalks representing each side of the road now so everything seems to look the way it's supposed to be so that's how you can go ahead creating a simple road on Revit and of course a sidewalk. You can go ahead and do a lot more tweaking to make this a bit more accurate. But this is like the basic method you can use to create a sidewalk in Revit alongside the road. And you know adding a walkway to your model and give it a lot more finishing.
if you did enjoy this video do leave a like on it and also subscribe to the channel for more review tutorials like this i'll see you in the next video